So as you can see in this video, this use of force is going viral and it's getting a lot of attention nationwide because it's obviously controversial. So after watching that video, let me ask you a serious question. Do you think that if the opportunity presented itself for each of those officers to have to go into that cell by themselves and fight that inmate one-on-one, -on -one, do you think those staff members would still go in that cell to fight that inmate one-on-one? -on -one? I highly doubt it. Highly doubt it. And I kind of briefly touched on this in a video I did a while ago. You know, when you run in on a cell, you know, run in on a cell on, 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 a, on an inmate, you know, you got five to nine officers rushing in a cell and, and you beat the brakes off of an inmate or whatever, that doesn't make you a tough guy. You know, that doesn't make you the world's toughest man. It's a slaughter. You know, you should win. That should be the outcome because you're outnumbered. You know what I'm saying? If Floyd Mayweather gets in a ring and he fights against another opponent, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Whoever wins, say if it's for the championship belt, okay, that's cool because it was a one-on-one. -on -one. It was a fair battle. But if six people jump in the ring and they jump Mayweather, those six dudes can't be like, well, give us the belt because we won. It's a slaughter. You know, and again, a lot of your staff members that work in jails and prisons, they want to do the right thing. You know, they don't want to get involved in a lot of mess and a lot of drama. You know what I'm saying? They just want to do their job and go home. But I could probably bet you my paycheck that, you know, those officers that did that, you know, obviously, you know, they're going to, you know, they're going to get busted upside the head with, 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 you know, some charges most likely. Um, but um, I can bet my paycheck that those officers are probably the type of officers that probably walk around trying to pound their chest, trying to act like they're gladiators or act like they're, you know, tough guys. But again, you're not a tough guy because, you know, you got five or whatever plus staff members and you rush in on a cell to take on one person. That does not make you a tough guy. Go in there by yourself and do that. Now, I can probably bet you that if that inmate said, hey, I'll fight each and every one of you officers, but one at a time. If that inmate said that, I probably bet you there would be no fighting going on. They wouldn't do that because they know good and well that they couldn't take the person on by themselves. You know, so it's 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 watching that video. You know, it's frustrating because um, even thinking about it, just from you know as a law student, as I watch this, I'm just watching all types of liability take place. I'm just looking at man, you know, just from a future lawyer perspective, I'm just like man, that video is no. Bueno, like for real, no bueno. But even without, you know, being in law school, just looking at it from just, you know, a, a, an average prudent individual, you can definitely tell that obviously the video does not look good. Now, I don't know what led up to that. I don't know what um, uh, transpired prior to that. All I know is, you know, what, you know, we've seen on the video. But one thing I can definitely say is watching that, you know, it, it, it's it's annoying because there are people that conduct themselves like that. They'll rush in on a cell five plus deep and then take on one person and then they want to walk out of the cell like they're hard or walk out of the cell like they're one of the, the gladiators from 300. You're not hard. You're not tough. You know what I'm saying? That's coward stuff. When the odds are always, it's like whenever you want to do some type of use of force, the odds are always in your favor. You know, that doesn't make you tough. That just does not make you tough. Now, go in there by yourself and try to accomplish that. Go in on your own and try to beat the brakes off of him if you want to be, you know, this tough guy or whatever. But anyways, let me wrap this up. Looking at this video, you know, when I first seen it, I was like, yeah, this is no good. And now, obviously, it's going viral and it's taking off. And um, it, it, it's... It's unfortunate that it happened, um, but yeah, man, that that's that again, that's no bueno. And as I look at that from the lens and perspective of a future lawyer, you know, I just see all types of um, um, liability all day long with that. You know, it's going to be an uphill battle to justify, you know, that type of use of force. You know, now of course, you know, you'll learn as you go through law school, and you know, you're dealing with cases like this. 
um, the courts talk about well, what's called the totality of the circumstances. So although we only watched that small clip of the video of what happened, you know, that might be all that we can see. But let's say if this is something that's duped out in court, you know, you're going to have to examine everything from, quote, the totality of the circumstances. So what was said prior to the situation, what was said in the middle of the situation, all these other things that come into play. Because, again, I know it's easy to sensationalize uh, a bite sized clip, you know, and then, you know, use that and run away with it. Now, we don't know what else took place outside of the cell, you know, because I know the, the video clip wasn't that long, you know, so again, it might appear that it could be an open and shut case, but you have to remember that it's going to be judged based on the totality of the circumstances, everything that played a role into it. And it's going to be based on uh, the, the, the perspective and the perception of the officers at the time as they were involved in that situation. So uh, let's not get too much in a rabbit hole because I'm not a lawyer and I'm not giving legal advice. I'm just a bootleg law student just chiming in. So until the next video, holla at your boy.